What up, what up, what up? It's DJ Envy now. Shout out to Real Estate Heat TV. They got the hottest new real estate channel. Shout out to my man, real estate coach, Anthony Leggins. Real Estate Heat TV. This is Anthony Leggins, real estate coach and mentor today. I'm bringing you my good friend and real estate investor, Mr. Joel McNair. He is a local real estate investor. He has two local real estate investment companies. He's a musical genius, in my opinion. He makes some great music, folks. You probably going to want to definitely check him out. But go ahead, y'all. Go on and introduce yourself, my brother. Hello, everyone. I just want to thank uh, Anthony Leggins for allowing me to speak on this program, The Heat TV, and uh, heat, let you baby. guys real estate heat. That's what's up. Yep, and let you guys know that the real estate market is booming in Detroit. I'm a local investor. I have two real estate investment companies. One is Upward Financial Solutions, right. LLC. The other is Upward Bound Kingdom Business, LLC, in which right. I co-own with my business partner, James Jackson. All right, now. That's what's up, Joe. That's what's up, man. Doing things out here in the city, man. See, that's what we're talking about here today. We're talking about how to buy the hood. And what we mean by how to buy the hood, we're talking specifically to us. You know, people that look just like us out here. We want to teach you real estate. We want to share our knowledge and our experience and hopefully, you know, motivate you to get involved in real estate. Because especially for me, I know it was definitely a life-changing experience, real estate helped me turn my whole life around in a whole new direction, as I'm sure my friend Joel can attest to. So, you know, let's let's get off into this, yes, Joel. Sir. I got just a few questions, man. I'm happy that you uh blessing us today, man, with your time and your knowledge, man. Uh want to know, like, uh, when did you when did you buy your first investment property? I bought my first investment property in 2003. I was just graduated from college and I actually had recently gotten married and I was thinking about relocating to California oh, okay. doing the music thing. Oh, okay. So, but what, what sparked me to purchase the first property was I was like, you know, I've been a Detroit native all my life and to relocate to another state and not own anything in my birth state or birth city right. is kind of pitiful. So I was like, you know, let me at least buy something and have my ownership established here with something before I relocate to California. Yeah. So I wound up purchasing a property over on Cloverline oh, okay. in Detroit, not too far from Finkel and Wyoming area, 48238 right. zip code. Yeah. And that yeah. was my very first uh, purchase of a home. Oh, took man. a loan, took a mortgage out on it. Um, I think I paid 45000 for it. Well, that was the mortgage. And my note was like, my note was like 500 or something. And I wound up collecting rent on that property for about 700 bucks. So my profit was 200 bucks a month. And I was like, oh, this is good. Yeah, <laughs> this is great. Yeah, 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 yeah. You no know, 200 doubt, bucks no a month for rent and your mortgage is uh 500, you know, back yeah. in uh, 2003. And you fresh out of college, you know, wasn't too to bad, you. you know. You was always good about that credit, man. You know, staying on top of your credit, my brother, man. Mm -hmm. You know, that's uh, you know, that's that's one way to do it, though, man. You know, like like how you did it. Um, you went the traditional route. You know, found a decent investment property, man. Got a mortgage, and then you went ahead mm -hmm. and rented it out, which was the smart thing to do, and essentially letting the tenant pay your mortgage for you. In addition, mm -hmm. you collecting. A, a additional, you know, return on your investment, man, you know, and it's all, it's mm -hmm. all good. You know what I'm saying? Essentially, yep. if you're able to keep that tenant happy in that property and they continue mm -hmm. to pay the rent, they essentially will be buying the property for you, paying off your mortgage over time. So, you know, that's all Pretty much. a smart move, you know what I mean? Yeah, yes, bro. Sir. so yes, uh, how, how did that, that experience go for you, though, with your first property? Well, it, it went very good, Anthony, because... Um, fresh out of college, I already had a business mind, you know, having taken all of those classes and graduating. And then right. I was thinking, you know, um, 
when I invested in a property, I didn't realize the tax benefits for owning property at the time, mm. you know, so not only was I, you know, able to make, oh, you know, $200 a month cash flow and get my mortgage paid at the property, I was also able to glean some tax write-offs and tax benefits yeah. from being a property <laughs> owner, you oh, know, yeah. and uh, that, that was, uh, you know, a, a huge takeaway at the time as well, because I began to see that, you know, owning real estate is, is a good way to just, slowly grow you know a, a nice uh portfolio of, of uh resources you know no doubt no doubt definitely man definitely like how so how many how many investment properties do you currently own joe yes sir i own i own 10 solo and that includes the one i live in and then nice. uh, with my business partner i have six nice nice yep. so that, that's like a total of 16 properties huh that's yes, up, 16, 16 properties, yep. That's what's up, bro. What, <laughs> what inspired you, man, to focus on uh, investing in, in, in Detroit, man, your neighborhood where you grew up in? Yeah, Detroit was my focus point because, you know, you know more than anybody, Anthony, that to do anything takes passion. Right. So, to you know, I was very passionate about seeing my, my neighborhood when, in which I grew up, the 48227 area code, mm -hmm. um, and the, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, zip code, 313 area code, yeah, 48227 yeah. zip code. Oh, yeah, we know what you mean, uh, bro. <laughs> yeah. Um, seeing that area, um, seeing it grow and take some of the black eyes off the, off the block in right. the hood, you know. Right. So, yeah. not only was I interested in, in uh, creating something that would, generate perpetual residual income for me mm -hmm. but i was also interested in doing something that would benefit the community by taking some of these bro broken down dilapidated ready to be condemned and demolished houses off right. the block yeah and putting them together in a you know That's so that stuff. someone can actually enjoy a nice home yeah um, man. so That's that was that was my motivation Oh man, I love it, bro. I love that, man, because that's definitely, definitely what it's about, man. Because you know, if we can impact people in a positive way, you know, it's a win win for us all. You know what I'm saying? We winning by investing in, you know, increasing our assets and our net worth and our, you know, income passively. Mm -hmm. And we also able to provide, you know, quality, affordable housing, man, to people in our city man and like you said man it's a lot of you know especially <laughs> if anybody's drove around detroit they know man it's a lot of you know eyesores you know absolutely and, and what what i also like to look at is opportunities you know for us if we are able to come together or you know form groups of investors or you know even individually we do do what we can do but we, it's a lot of opportunity, and I'm sure it's not just in Detroit. I'm sure it's in a whole lot of other cities as well and other Absolutely. neighborhoods, you know, urban neighborhoods, you know, where people like us are living that we could really, you know, you, you might be looking like, man, I really wish I knew how I could, you know, do this, you know, and this is what this 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 show is about. You know, we we want to bring you, you know, bring you that that heat, baby. We real stay heat TV, man. We want to bring you that heat, bring you that knowledge that you need to get that confidence and that knowledge, you know, from people that's really Absolutely. out here, like like Joel right here, that's that's doing it out here, man, doing it big, bro. So, uh, how, how did you uh, how did you find the properties for sale in your neighborhood that you that you've been buying? Well, when when after I got Cloverline. Then, then I wound up not moving to California, and I wound up looking for a property to actual actually live in because I was right. renting at the time. So my second uh, purchase in Detroit was the purchase of a house over on Freeland, in which I lived in actually for oh, yeah, like seven years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The four eight two three five. Right. Zip code uh, right off Six Mile over there, not too far from uh, Greenfield mm. and uh, Hubble area and um, in between Six Mile and Puritan. And I lived over there for like seven years. So I was looking for a, a nice quality brick home in which I could, uh, you know, start my family and whatever. And then 
after I moved in there, a few years later is when I started looking at more opportunities to invest because I was seeing a lot of opportunities in Detroit, but I didn't know what I really wanted to do. And I was like, you know what? I can't go wrong with purchasing another house. Right, 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 right. So how, how did you find it? Like, how did you find Cloverline? How did you come across that property? I was talking to one of the guys that I did music with and I was telling him I'm thinking about buying a house and he mm -hmm. he actually was selling it, selling the house that I bought. Oh, okay. And I said, oh, okay, you selling the house. And I was like, you know, I was yeah. used to doing business with him on a music tip. And when he told me he was selling his house, you know, I figured it would be a good way to get in because I knew he wouldn't jerk me around. We've been doing music together. We've been yeah. um, in, the, in a studio together. And it yeah. was kind of like a good fit at the time because I didn't yeah. know much about real estate. So, you know, he kind of gave me uh, a little bit of a easier path getting into purchasing the home. And, and I was I was happy with that. That's what's up, bro. Yeah, that's that's one great way, man. Sometimes you got to just have strike up a conversation to tell people, man, yep. you'd be surprised. Like, oh, Network. Man, I didn't know that. You know, I didn't Network. know you were selling a yep. house, so I didn't know you was, you know, buying houses or into that. You know, we don't, sometimes we don't communicate enough, you know, just that's how easy it could be sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, absolutely. you know, it ain't always like that, but, you know, sometimes it is. Like, how did you find some of the other houses? Like, you know. The other houses, I, I just, I just petitioned the support and skill of a realtor. Mm-hmm. So I, I asked the realtor to start sending me listings right. and I would, I, I would give them my price range, mm -hmm. what I was willing to spend mm -hmm. and where I was trying to purchase. And they would shoot me listings. And then I would take those listings and sometimes I would ride around maybe like three or four hours out of a day, looking at different houses on the list and mm -hmm. seeing if, you know, <laughs> walking up to them, looking at the windows, right. walking around That's back. Important. You know, seeing That's if important. they've been broken into. Got, you got to go check these out. Now you can't just look at a picture. Check them, checking them out, <laughs> checking them out, and just doing the legwork. You know, yeah. to see if I want to purchase this property. Right. And uh, I came across some pretty good deals. Some yeah. pretty good deals. Do, do, doing my due diligence. Yeah, that's that's key right there. Due diligence. You know what I mean? Due diligence is highly yep. important. A lot of people just see a picture and see some numbers and get excited and just jump at it without, you know, no, you gotta go look at it. You homework. gotta go look at it. You know, you gotta at least yeah, drive yeah. by, at least drive by. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, especially exactly. if you can. And if you, you know, I, me personally, I always like to do deals that's close to home anyway, because out of state and things like that, it's great. A lot of people are doing it and they're making a lot of money, man, doing it. But me, I like to be able to put my eye on my investment, you know, for me and my my people that are buying, you know. So it's, it's very important, especially in Detroit. Yes, sir. You know? Yes, sir. Because it might be looking great one and day. That's, and that was key by the me. next day. And this toe up, they done did something terrible to it, you know. <laughs> that was, yeah, that was key for me, being able to ride up on site and see what I'm getting. Yeah, man. That was key. That was key for me. That's what's up, Joe, man. You know, we uh we know, man, you know, well, you know, it ain't always all sweet with real estate, man. So, you know, what what challenges have you faced owning investment properties in the hood? Well, I face a lot of challenges, but I, I want to put a disclaimer out here. Okay. You know, when when the first couple questions you asked, you know, life is about being passionate about what you do. Right. So, you know. Like you know, getting into real estate, you you have to bring some type of passion to what you do, um, because there are many many times when I would have been discouraged. Like, what is this madness? I can't deal with this, you know. But <laughs> yeah. the, the passion and the motive for what you do is what's gonna what's gonna stick. Um, but some of the some of the challenges that I've come across is is getting a property. Mm -hmm. getting good workers to rehab the property at a reasonable price. Yes, sir. And sure. then some properties having taxes that are 
unpaid, you being mm. responsible for that. Right. Water bills that are unpaid, you being oh, responsible man. for that. Yes, and then lemons, you know, you, you see a house, it looks great. You don't know this property has major plumbing problems. Right. You know, tree roots growing in the in the plumbing system of the yeah. of the going to the alley of the house. You got to get the yard dug yeah. up. That's yeah. that's two to three thousand dollars easy. Yeah. You know, these type of things are challenges. But yeah, like I said, well, you, you know, know, that's you that's do, the next question, Joe. Is uh what we your solutions, my brother. Solution, solution, baby. Upward that's financial right. solution is, is the name <laughs> of the company. <laughs> we bring solutions to the table. Right. Yes, sir. <laughs> Upward financial solutions. That's the name of the company. Oh, that's what's up, um, my brother. Well, tell you know how like man, you know, it, it's interesting because I was uh, you know, before we started doing the uh the the, the show, man, I was like you know, um, about the challenges and you were just telling me about how, how the hot water tank had went out at one of your investment properties. And that's why, yeah. you know, we weren't able yeah. to do the interview, uh, you know, on time, like we had a schedule, you know, and that's just one of the challenges mm -hmm. right there. You know, that's you got 16 properties, you know, stuff like that going to happen. You know, you got to like that happens, you know, especially so, if you looking to manage them yourself, right. You, you got to, you know, man. go put, you got to go like that hot water tank, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to do some things sometimes. You, you got to get right. your feet wet and your hands dirty. Right. I mean, and that's that's just life. The thing about right. it, uh, Anthony, and you know this very well because you've gone further than, than I have in some areas of real estate. You know this. A big part of the solution is continued education. Uh, continue to educate yourself on what you need to be able to know how to do. Right. You know, once I got up to my uh, fourth or fifth house, I took a light plumbing class. You know, I just oh, okay. went to uh, Schoolcraft Community College up, and took man? a light plumbing yeah. class, you know, yeah. to know a few things about plumbing. Yeah. I was tired of getting ganked, you know, man. by plumbers. <laughs> uh, this is going to be $250. Yeah, <laughs> nah, no, it's not. It's going right. to be $75. Right. You know, right. that type of thing. Um, right. Right. You know, so, um, you know, paying somebody a hundred dollars to go light a water heater. No, man, I'll man. be over there to light your water heater. Right. You know, right. Um, I, myself, I can do that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so, you know, continue education um, is, yes, is huge. Even yes, if you man. just, uh, you know, in the market or in the real estate industry on the peripheral, know what you're doing, you know, yes. know what you're involved in, know what kind of industry, know the market, you yes. know, um, so yeah, education, yeah. man, is, is one of the hugest uh, tool, tools in the toolbox as far as success. Man, without a doubt, man, you know, and that's why I do the real estate coaching, man, because I'm trying to, you know, I wasn't into it at first, man, but, you know, I had, I started thinking like, man, I got all this knowledge, man, you know, I have to start sharing it to people, man, you know, and people want to learn, you know, and I'm, I'm willing mm -hmm. to teach. You know, I'm willing to share, man, do things like this as a TV show because definitely before you rush out and think that you're about to go by the hood, you got to, you know, get educated on a few things. You know what I'm exactly. saying? Exactly. Some few essentials about real estate. Even Joel, man, Joel was a licensed real estate agent at one point, you know, and I'm sure that benefited him in his real estate investing career. You know, that's always, Absolutely. you know, key. You know what I'm saying? And he's one of our... Uh, 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 frontline heroes too, you know, uh, RN working to help save lives right now. So, you know, he's helping to save lives in the medical field. He's out here helping, you know, save lives, essentially, you know, getting people in these nice homes that he's doing out here. You know, that's, that's all, that's what it's about. We, we coming from the heart with this. We just want to help people. We genuine, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, we, we want you to be successful. You know what I'm saying? We yeah. successful. We want you to be successful because we know that you can That's right. be, you know? And, uh, you know, I just want to know, Joe, what are your future real estate investment goals? Well, my, my future real estate investment goals pretty much just to continue to, to grow as a, as a business, investing in more and more properties maybe get off into some commercial properties i want at some point mm -hmm. and continue to give back uh 
the more and more I do as it relates to real estate, the more I see the need to give back. Yeah. Um, like, like you're doing right now, Anthony, with this Thank program, you. you know, trying to educate people and, and put people up on the opportunities that exist out here. If you have the, the passion and yes, the desire sir. to, <laughs> to do something, you know, yes, sir. you know, yes, like sir. it says, I mean, whatever it says, it says in the word, whatever your hand finds to do, do it with all your might, yes, do sir. it with all your might. Don't have That's passion. Step. That's passion. Don't have step, you know. Right, that, that's what Big Daddy Kane said back in the day. Ain't no half stepping, right? <laughs> no half stepping. Right, you gotta, and, you and, know, um, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta do it or don't do it. <laughs> you exactly. can't half do it, you know. That's where go, a lot go, of people go feel that. Home. And don't go you hard, can't be go home. right. You can't be too easily discouraged. I was, hey, we, it was funny that that before you know we were talking about when we were kids and we started that. Uh, uh, real estate, uh, I mean, fortune. not real estate, but that uh, internet company, Net of Fortune, Net right, of Fortune right. com back in the day, 1997, 98, before the mm -hmm. internet really started to boom. And we were went to uh, a success magazine, uh, uh, success magazine uh, uh, seminar and right. signed up, right? Yeah, to sell the mm -hmm. websites, you know. And mm -hmm. we were, you know, we were talking like we could have probably been big off into it, but we kind of got a little easily discouraged back then. So easily you know, discouraged. That, that was one of our learning lessons too, you know, but you can't get easily too easily discouraged in real estate. You go, you're going to get a lot no. of those, but them yeses, them yeses, boy, them yeses, put them checks in your pocket and in your bank account. And that's what it's all about. You know what I'm saying? Like what? What advice would you give new investors, Joel, starting out? New investors, I would say, don't try to get rich quick. Right. Look right. at this as a long-term endeavor, and then right. you won't be as dissatisfied if something goes up or down. You won't be too gleeful if it goes up. You won't be too dissatisfied if it goes down, because real estate really is something you got to look at long-term. Property will be here when we're gone uh right the house you buy the house you're living in right now will probably be there when you're long gone yeah so you got to look at it as something long term um look to grow your your business or your real estate involvement at a slow steady pace if you can land a good deal and 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 make money hand over fist right off the rip kudos to you yeah. but yeah. real estate <laughs> from my perspective, has been a long-term, grow it gradually, uh, don't bite off more than you can chew, right. you know, stack you your go. chips, Definitely save your that. chips, make meager investments at a time. Yeah, yeah, man, that's that's great advice, Joe, you know. That. Let it grow. Let yes, sir, yes, yes sir. sir, man, that's... Uh... <laughs> That's great advice there, my brother. That's definitely great advice, man. You know, I was a real estate agent for close to 10 years before I started buying and flipping properties myself. I was studying other investors, seeing where they were, you know, succeeding at and failing mm -hmm. at and all of that. I was real, you know, because I seen a lot of people lose money making mistakes out here. And it kind of made me a little nervous to want to, you know, jump in there. But I eventually did, and you know, it was very, you know, financially rewarding uh, for me. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, yeah, it's not anything you want to rush into, you know, because real estate's going to be there, like y'all said. Even when we're gone, you know, the real estate's going to be there. But it's definitely you want to get a start on right now. And you know, this is uh, this is what we're talking about today. We about, about to get, get ready. ready to wrap this up. Real Estate Heat TV, How to Buy the Hood. My man, Joel McNair, Upward Financial Solutions. Go on and yes, shout, sir. It, shout it out, y'all. Thank you. Thank you, Anthony. Yep. So you can check me out, actually, for some of the music things that I'm involved in, because real estate has afforded me the opportunity to delve into some of the creative things I enjoy, like music. So yeah. uh, go check me out at yeah. uh, jhosta.com. Yes, That's sir. That's J-H-O-S-T-A.com on the internet. Um, yeah. Check out some music. Uh, you can message oh, yeah. me. <laughs> um, 
email me at jhoster at jhoster.com. Yeah. And talk to me more about real estate investing. Or if you need a place to stay, I might have an op, uh, open opportunity for you. That's God bless. Up, Thank you, Anthony. Oh, you're welcome, Joel. Anytime, my brother. And you will uh, su please subscribe to our channel right now. You know, below you will find the links to uh, Joel's uh, website, uh, Upper Financial Solutions, Joester.com. You know, I'm Anthony Leggins. Real Estate Heat TV, and we out. Welcome to Real Estate Heat TV, the hottest new real estate channel. I yes. am your host today, real estate coach and mentor, Anthony Leggins. And we got my man, real estate coach and mentor, Armand Wright. What's up, what's up? Sir, Let's yes, make it sir. do what it do. Yeah, we excited, man. We Man, we was talking, man, before we started turning on, uh, doing the show today and I'm telling you, man, we geek, man. We hype, man. Yes, you know, we, yes, we excited yes. to bring this heat to you, man, because today our mind came up, man. He 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 got something hot to drop for us today, you know. And I'm gonna chip in and I'm gonna speak, you know, my mind on some things. But uh we were saying, you know, we definitely want to give a shout out to you, our listeners and our viewers. Yes. Uh, we greatly appreciate your support. And, you know, we give a shout out to everybody out here that's doing their thing in the real estate game right now. You know, yes. whether you succeed or having some challenges, you know, if you are having some challenges, you want to watch today's program because we're going to share some information with you that's going to be quite beneficial with you. So, what you know, what, what are we going to talk about today, Brother Armand? Man, we're going to talk about mindset, man. You know, at a lot of different programs... Uh, a lot of people start off with mindset and you might see that common thing. A lot of people are probably just blowing that off. But man, it's, it's critical, man. If you're going to do anything, you got to have your mind right. As we say, you have your mind right to get your money right. So yes. we talk about mindset, getting your yes. mind right. So say, say, for example, you start your day in the morning and you listen to um, whatever music you listen to. Say you listen to some hip hop music or whatever. Getting you, getting you in a, in a really, really good mood. Then all of a sudden, you got your day all planned out. You know, you're going to do, you know, you're going to make some phone calls. I'm just speaking from a real estate investor perspective. You're going to make some phone calls. I'm going to call this many people. I'm going to follow up on this many people. I got my music going. Get me in a good mood, right? So I'm, I'm headed down the right path, right? I got my mind right. I got the music going. I'm headed down the right path. Then all of a sudden, say you get in an argument with someone. Yeah, you get in an argument with someone or, you know, not necessarily an argument or say a disagreement. Throw your mind off. You uh -huh. throw your mind off and before you know it, your whole day just started just going in a whole different direction. I so the one thing we do is just want to talk about that mindset, getting your mind right. Yes, sir, get your mind right, man. You know, I know I remember, man, Jay-Z and Memphis Bleak and Snoop Dogg had a song that called Get Your Mind Right, man. I used to love bumping that song, man. It helped me out, man. But no doubt, man, because our mind and I, we'd never be successful, man. <laughs> you know, be getting to the levels that we've been able to attain in our in our real estate careers without the proper mindset. Because yes. real estate is a tough game, man. Yes. Real estate, <laughs> you know, it's great. The money mm -hmm. is, is lovely, especially once you get your, you know, momentum going and, and things of that nature. But, you know, you got to have your mind right. You know, your mind right. you got to have your mind right, you know. Absolutely. Um, but, you know, Absolutely. we were talking to our mind, like, you know, what what's some, like, what gets you pumped up, man? What, what, what actually gets you pumped up to, man, actually want to get out here and, you know, make it happen, man, like you do? Well, one thing I'm a big fan of, like I was saying, you know, you got the negativity out here. Like, say, a lot of people spend a lot of time watching the news. 
like, you know, whatever size your political views, a lot of people get into politics or whatnot, whether you're a Democrat or Republican or whatever. Um, a lot of people spend a lot of time doing that, and they throw them into a different type of mode. And before you know it, you are talking about something that's not about getting your money, you know what I mean? Let's talk about getting your money. Whether you're a Democrat or Republican, it's still at the end of the day about you getting your money because they getting their money. So that's what we want to get you focused in on, about getting the bag, you know what I mean? Yeah. And so what kind of starts me off, I try to fill my day with a lot of positivity. So I get up in the morning, drink water. You got to keep yourself hydrated. The goal is to exercise every day. Some days I'd be slipping, though, but the goal is to exercise every day. And uh, as well as feed your mind. One thing I do do consistently, feed my mind with a lot of positive audio books. Now you got, with the advancement of technology, you got YouTube and whatnot feeding your mind with a lot of positivity. But it goes a little step further than that. You talk about your mind right, getting your mind right, but man, you gotta be hungry. If you wanna be successful in anything, you gotta be hungry for it. You gotta be passionate about it, you know what I mean? And that's what we about. We about being, we're passionate about helping as many people as possible. So we want you to subscribe, follow us. If you got some comments, you got some questions about real estate, you can top, type them down in the comment section. We get back with you, but that's what we're passionate about. We're passionate about helping you get to that next level. And if it's in real estate or whatever, uh, we we just all about giving and just helping people. That's what we're about. They pass it over to Brother Leggins. Oh, yeah. <laughs> man, Armand, I feel you, bro. I can't help yes. but feel you, man. You know what I'm saying? Like me, you know, I like to listen to certain songs, you know, that, that motivate me, and it all depends. I mean, some days or some periods, man, I'm listening to classical, to be honest with you. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm bumping out some Mozart requiems or, you know, something, you know, some Beethoven. But, you know, I got my other days, you know, I got to listen to that Jay-Z, man. Or right. I've, been, I've been vibing with my man uh, Buster Rhymes' latest yeah. uh, album, Extinction Lovely Event 2, man. I've been, right on. some of them songs been, been pumping me up, man, you know. But you got to find, you know, I'm saying that because you got to find what it is that's going to get you going, that's going to get you pumped up. Yes. You know, and then you have to learn how to um, be mentally strong. You know, yes, and and that you know because getting all the you know you're gonna get a lot of no's. <laughs> you're Absolutely. gonna get a lot of no's out here. You know, you're gonna try a lot of things, and and things may not you know manifest, but uh, as quickly as you want. You know, right. And that's the thing too is that real estate taught me patience because mm. I like you know most people I like to have consistent cash flow. You know, you get comfortable with the with the nine to five job uh, or maybe longer hours, you know, right and on. and getting that that paycheck. But, you know, I had to learn like with real estate, you may sign a contract today. All right. And that's technically a sale, but you may not get paid for another, you know, two to four weeks, you know, depending right. on what type of deal it is. So I had to learn how to wait. You know, but that right. kind of taught me some patience. But yes. once you get that rhythm to flowing, then I'm telling you, it's it's going to be great out here. You know, I was telling our mind, um, you know, real estate helped me achieve so many great things in life. Yes. You know, yeah. helped me achieve so many goals. Like, what what are some of the things that that you know really you know got you going there? You know, got got you pumped up, uh, our mind. Man, for what I want to let the church say amen. Real estate, man. Real estate. Hey, it's been a tremendous blessing, man. I would say one of the highlights of uh, my career. Yeah. One of the highlights of my career. Hey, uh, well, we going to get into it. One of the highlights of my career, man, I was with uh, Diamond Chrysler. <laughs> I was with Diamond, man. And, um, you know, I was a supervisor at Diamond Chrysler at the Toledo plant, getting a little bit more specific, you know. But, um, I used to, it was close to quite a few large uh, real estate transactions. And um, believe it or not, I mean, you know, you close a real estate transaction, that's not an illegal move, man. But I was making so much money while I was a Chrysler, as a Chrysler supervisor, and they used to pull me in the office and ask me, why am I working here? You know, because I mean, because at the time, you know, real estate transactions was published in the newspaper. And they see, you know, oh, I'm making, you know, twenty, forty thousand dollars. They like, what you coming in to work for? You know, sometimes I was a little sick after, you know, I'm making forty thousand dollars, man. Whew. 
I might have to call it sicker for a few days. I'm just keeping it real with you, you know what I mean? But to keep it all the way real, not recommending this, we, but we talk about the real estate highs. Boy, I'm going to show you what. <laughs> I had a real estate transaction and uh, made like $200,000. Yes. And so with Diamond Chrysler, we did, um, and I don't recommend this to nobody. Don't, don't do this, but I'm just going to keep it real. This is what I did. Don't, don't recommend this. Don't do this because it's not good. Um, I just didn't call him no more, man. I didn't call him. I didn't go back and pick up my safety glasses or nothing. I just, hey, I'm out. <laughs> Deuces. Oh, yeah. you was like, you, uh, <laughs> you hit the auto. I feel yeah, you. Yeah, like, yeah. Hey, you know. yeah. <laughs> hey. Like, hey, man, that's yeah. what I'm talking about, man. That's you know, exactly what I'm talking about. Beautiful thing. I have my, my youngest daughter, man. She's like, what you doing today? I said, we just going to sit here on the porch and watch the grass grow. Man, that's heat. That's heat, baby. That's all right. You know, what I'm on that's, porch. that's exactly what I'm talking about, man. And that's possible for you out there. Yes. You know, that's very possible, you know. But you have to be what they say, you have to be in it to win it, just like the lottery. Yes. You know, you got to be in it to win it. You know, yes. you can't just keep sitting on the sidelines. Every day that goes by that you're sitting there thinking about, I should, you know, get into real estate. I should try and do this wholesaling thing or i should do this or do that you're you're losing valuable time and opportunity that you could be take some time to learn first of all because that's right. gonna be that's that's part of that that fear that part of that hesitation is yes. because you don't have that knowledge yet you right. know what i'm saying you're not knowledgeable on it yet so take some time to learn a little bit at your own pace you know because right we, we grown people. I mean, we can learn and take time at, you know, at, at our own pace, but that that's how you begin to take those steps. You got to start taking steps. Yes. You know what I'm saying, you know, you got to take it from just being a thought into taking action. That's how things are going to begin to start manifesting for you. And you can't, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm just like everybody else. I want to jump from here and be all the way, you know, up there. Like that, right. you know, right. I don't like to wait the time, you know, we in that fast paced society, you know, clicking the move, mm -hmm. push buttons, you know, ask Google, you know, all types of things that we uh, weren't able to do, you know, even, you know, 20 years ago. Right. And, you know, right now we really got to, you know, start taking advantage of, of learning these things now because I was telling our mind, like real estate has helped me. I I had always wanted to buy a home in the neighborhood that I grew up in. I grew up in this subdivision called Rosedale Park uh, in Detroit. And mm -hmm. if anybody you know is familiar with that that area, it's 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 a nice it's a nice part of Detroit. And the homes, you know, that neighborhood has always been nice, and it still is today. And I had always wanted to buy a home over there, but you know, until I got into real estate. I was able to position myself to be able to uh, find a home over there for a good deal, work it out with my real estate knowledge and be able to buy a home that, I, you know, in, a, in the area that I always dreamed of, you know, owning a home in. I've been right. able to, you know, you know, the fancy cars, you know, plenty of cash, plenty of good times, you know, with the money. Right. You know what I'm saying? We can't go into right, right, that type right. of details, you know what I'm saying, right. right now. But I'm telling you, you know, and it's all because of real estate. It's yes. all because of real estate. But I had to put that work in in the beginning, though. Trust me. I mean, you know, and we still, still put in the work, work in, though. Don't think that we not still. We we put in work in. Right. But, yeah. you know, it, it, and that. But you got to keep putting work in. You know what right. I'm saying? So, But you got to start. And, yes. you know, if you want to get that money, you know, where you can get you know, um, I mean, you could make more in a month than you probably made in the past two years, right. to be honest with you. I mean, you know, it, it's it's un, un, unbelievable sometimes what you can do. You know, it's like yes. I, I, I'm, a, I'm on Facebook groups sometimes and, you know, I, I see p people posting about, you know, they 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 were working, you know, for, you know, a few months and they were ready to give up. But they finally got that first deal and. Right. It might only be in a couple thousand, but they're so excited and they know. Yes. Because once you get that first deal, then you're going to know that this is real. You know right. what I'm saying? And if you want to learn how to do your first deal, you 
gonna have to get with my man Armand. Well, excuse me, Armand. Well, whichever way he is, but you know, he's over there, over there. Armand, man, Armand got that uh, fast house, uh, the fast house flipping system. Armand. Yes, sir. Man, he did the case study on on where they did seventy seven thousand dollars. If you didn't catch that video, matter of fact, you'll see the link to that at the end of this, man. It's seventy seven thousand dollars in one week. Uh, what was it before Christmas or last? This past Christmas, right? Right. right. Well, when we, we yes, all, yes, sir. everybody crying, and you know, uh, I mean, and not to make light of things, but you know, um, mm -hmm. but, you know, everybody is struggling, and in their, yes. you know, uh, real situations. struggles. Yeah, we we recognize right? that real struggles. Yeah. Real struggles, right. real life yeah. struggles, and I, I, yeah. I, I don't mean to minimize it at all, but I'm just right. saying that with his real estate knowledge and what what he's he's can teach you right now, and you know, it, say you didn't make seventy seven thousand and you only made seventy seven hundred, right. what would that do for you right now? Right. What would that do for you right now? You know what I'm right. saying? So I mean, you know that he's showing the case study to show you the potential. You know, yes. it ain't no guarantee that that's what you're going to make, but you got to shoot for the stars and land on the moon, you know. There you still go. still there, you know. You still, right, right. still a lot of space, you know. Uh, so when, Going back to that case study, though, you know, going through there, because obviously that was several deals closing, you know, in that week, but it all starts with the mindset, right? So say, for example, if I had the mindset that, like, you know, say if I had the mindset wherever, you know, I got... 4,000 closed, and I'm like, oh, I'm good. You know what I mean? That the rest of the money wouldn't have came. So you got to have that mind, you had to have the right mindset. And just like how we talking right now, kind of smooth and cool, some people might believe that your real estate transaction is going to kind of go like, like this. You know, we just kind of cool and smooth. Sometimes, man, um, I mean, as Anthony can contest, sometimes, you know, even as a real estate investor or as a real estate broker, sometimes those conversations get kind of heated because we talking about this money, right? You know, we talking about getting this bread. And then sometimes in certain situations, you will have people just keeping it real will try to teach you out of your money. Even though you're in a profession, you might think that, you know, we're in this profession and that everybody's going to treat us really, really good and things like that. Nah, man, you, you know, you got to have your mind, you got to have your mind right. Not saying that you want to get into any type of uh, engage with people in any type of you know fist fights and nothing like that. But I'm just saying you you got to have your you had to have your mind in check for that too because you know normally if somebody goes sideways with me on my money and we're out in the streets then we gonna handle it a little bit different. So it's just so important to have your mind right. You know you got to have your mind right to get your money right. And the one thing is you got you know what I say if you well not just what I say what the story what other people say. If the mind, if you can, if the mind, if you can conceive it, and if you can believe it, you can achieve it. Yeah. So first you got to see yourself as a successful investor or as a successful uh, business owner. You got to see it. You got to be a salesman, but you got to sell yourself first. You know, you got to believe it. And once you see it and you believe it, now we just going to reverse engineer that thing and just walk right into it. But every day, you know, pumping yourself up with those that positivity, listening to the you know the positive audio books or you read books or whatnot, um, and it's just walking into it because we got a lot of negative stuff out here, you know, in the world. We got this COVID stuff going out here, the uncertainty with jobs and whatnot. So what we want to do is just try to surround yourself with a lot of positive people, like you know, brother Anthony here. And, you know, he's positive, you know what I mean? So I want to surround myself with a lot of positive people who have that same type of energy. Now, some people, as you're walking in your light, some people you're going to have to cut out, you know what I mean? Either cut out or if it's like a significant other or whatnot, you might have to limit the time being around. I'm not, saying, I'm not trying to drive nobody to divorce court or nothing like that. But I'm just saying that uh, you're going to have to carve out your success. And it's your, it's, you know, we, we can give you the roadmap, but ultimately it's going to be up to you. And people might say, well, I don't have this and I don't have that. I don't have money. Or I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm really, really in a really bad spot right now. One thing, if you're in a real bad spot or wherever you're at, two things, right? Two things. For one, have a plan. Now, wherever you at, right. you can come up with a plan. Yeah. Number two, ex execute that plan. So you got you, you can come up with the plan. Number two, execute the plan. 
So you might say, well, I got the plan to execute the plan. I didn't hit it. Okay, why didn't you hit it? Let's go through some problem solving techniques and let's get right back at it. And what's going to keep you going every day is that hunger. I want, I want it. You know, how bad do you want it? You know what I mean? I want it. I want to help you. We want to help you. That's why we're here. But how bad do you want it? You got to believe in yourself. And if you want it, we're here to help. That's why we're here. It is, man. Oh, man. I love it, bro. I love it, man. You drop, man. What you say? You dropping them nuggets, baby. Nuggets. I love nuggets. it. I love it, yes, man. Sir. You bringing that heat, man. Yes. Y'all got to man. You got to understand, man. Real Estate Heat TV, man. Listen, what our mind said, I really hope you guys rewind, man, or internalize that, man, because that's so yes. key, man. So, so key. You know, um, you know, it's one thing that I remember when I was I was thinking about when when our mind was talking there. Um, is that my I remember when I first got into real estate, um, my grandfather suggested that I, I get my real estate license because we were having a conversation. I was at a point in my life where I was getting frustrated because I think I was getting ready to turn about I was getting ready to turn 30. And okay. You know, sometimes, you know, when you're growing up, at least my thought is that I wanted to be at a certain level in life by the time I turned 30. And I was becoming real frustrated about how come I couldn't, you know, basically how come I wasn't rich. You know, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. That was what my thought was. I was like, man, I should be rich by now. You know, I, I thought I always told myself I'd be rich by 30. And then I it didn't it didn't happen that way. And mm -hmm. I was I was, you know, upset. So I, I asked my grandfather because my grandfather, he uh, rest in peace. Uh, he was a very successful uh, real estate developer, and you know, he was uh, he's a wealthy man. And I asked him, like, you know, hey, grandpa, what can I do to get rich like you? Right. I just flat out asked him, you know, because I I was I was at that point, you know, and he said, uh. Well, you 90% of the way there. And I'm sitting there like, man, what the heck is he talking about? And I was like, well, you know, Grandpa, what's the other 10%? And mm -hmm. he said, get your real estate license. Well, he said, get your real estate license. So it didn't took me years to understand what he meant. What he meant is that 90% of it is that desire, man. Yes. It's that wanting to get there. You already, you closer than... Having that yes. desire is you you so close. We don't sometimes we don't see how close we are to where we really trying to get. Mm -hmm. You know, we give up right before we right there to grab it. You know what I mean? Right. So, you know, how, keep that desire. But then that other 10%, right, was to get educated, basically. Get my license yeah. so I can get educated right. on real estate because I didn't know nothing about real estate mm -hmm. at that time. Nothing. And uh, I was clueless, uh, you know, and, you know, that's that's where it's at. And like, you know, we, we I'm sure we said before, man, we've made <laughs> we made a whole lot of money over the course of our, you know, I think yes. Armand and I've been in, this, in, in, in the business for about the same amount of time. So right. over our span of, you know, close to 17 years, um, you know, we definitely we definitely did millions, you know. As, as, as you should, you know, you know what I'm right. saying? As you as should be expected with somebody that's out here full time, every, you know, all the time, ups and downs. Yes. Um, still out here grinding and making it happen. And that's that's type of passion and determination that you have to have. You know, just don't right. give up. Just don't give up. No, you can do it. Yes. No, you can Believe do it. Yeah. Believe in yourself, man. I believe in you. I know right. you can do it. Right. I, I'm I'm a hundred ten percent positive that you can do it as long as you convince yourself first. Yes. And then come see me or my brother Armand over here. I keep I keep going the wrong way. My brother Armand <laughs> over here. You know what I mean? And right. get that education, get that training that you need. We we gonna help you. You see, we passionate, yeah. you see that we care. You know, we we really we're not just saying these things. To be braggadocious, we saying these things to motivate you and get you yes. right. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Because this is real. 
Yes. You know what I'm saying? Real estate, heat TV. <laughs> I, had to plug, I had to shoot that plug in. <laughs> Oh yeah, tell them, man. TV. Oh yeah, man. <laughs> oh man, yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, we are TV. live TV. on our website officially. Yes. www.realestateheat.tv. Yes. Realestateheat.tv is gonna be below. Go check us out. We're gonna catch the latest shows uh before we even get uh before they even get, get onto the YouTube. You'll be able to right. catch them on our uh website so go ahead set it up go ahead i mean go ahead and uh check us out subscribe now yes. to make sure that you are able to catch our mind and i and all of our other talented people and guests that we'll be bringing on uh to our shows and our new right. programs and series we got so much heat planned for you guys just stay tuned subscribe yes. i guarantee you that you will definitely love what we have for you in the future so go ahead Armand. go on and wrap us up man get us up out of here Armand. drop drop that last minute word for us brother hey one one thing like i said we here to, to try to help as many people as possible so one thing that we need you guys to do one right now if you haven't subscribed we need you to subscribe like right now Two, we need it for you to share this out with your friends we want you to post this up on your facebook page post it up on your LinkedIn page, share it out to your people and encourage other people to share it out because this show right here is all about helping people. Helping people make what? More money. We dropping that Real Estate Heat TV straight to you. This is, you know, it's coming straight to you. So if you feel as though you've been blessed with this information, bless some other people. You know, that's what it's all about. It's a giver's gain in the world. You know what I mean? The more people you help, the more it's going to come to you. So that's what we out here doing. We out here trying to help people and, and eventually what it's going to do, come around and help us. You know what I mean? So just pass it, pass it on. Like you say, pay it forward. Share it, share it out on your page. Share it to your friends. Tell it, tell it, tell, tell everybody, you know, tell a friend. Tell, <laughs> tell a friend, tell a brother. Tell a pastor, tell a pimp. Say, no, the Blue right. State Heat TV is right here. Oh yeah, Blue right. State Heat TV. The Armand and Anthony Show. Yes, sir. And we out. Envy now shout out to real estate heat tv they got the hottest new real estate channel shout out to my man real estate coach anthony leggins hey, welcome to this episode of how to buy the hood i am your host real estate coach and mentor anthony leggins this is real estate heat tv the hottest new real estate channel and we aim to bring you the hottest new information the hottest new techniques, the hottest new strategies. But this show right here, this show right here in particular, is focused on how to buy the hood. How to buy the hood. Because, you know, as a as an African American male, I have a personal, you know, personal and heartfelt concern for the struggles that we're going through right now and all of the things that we're facing, the challenges that we're facing, all of the backlash and everything that that's been going on lately in the news and around the world. And even just <laughs> for our history, if you know what I'm saying, but you know, I wanted to create something special just for us. I wanted to be able to take my real estate knowledge, because if you don't know, I'm a licensed real estate broker and I'm also a licensed residential builder. So I have a lot of knowledge in the real estate arena. I've done wholesaling, buying, fixing, flipping, selling traditional real estate, non-traditional real estate, 
I've done all types of real estate. I've done deals for myself, deals for other clients, and made lots and lots of money out here, you know, with my knowledge and my experience. And it's taken a long time. You know, I've been in this for over 17 years. It's taken me a long time to learn these type of things, but now it's time. It's time to share this with you and for all of those who want to learn how they can become active in real estate so that they can then take that knowledge and apply it to improving their community or giving back in a special way to the neighborhoods that they grew up in. You may be able to just buy one house at a time and fix and flip it and provide a beautiful home for one family, which is an incredible thing. Or you may be able to get together and uh, form a partnership and buy apartment buildings and complexes and things of that nature or take vacant strips of land in uh, uh, desolate parts of, of our uh, neighborhoods and build new housing and provide affordable housing for our people. You know what I'm saying? And that's what this show is all about. It's about teaching you how to get involved, motivating you to get involved, because that's important, giving you the knowledge so that you have that confidence to take action, because that's what's required out here is taking action. And that's what we're going to do. I'm going to bring special guests. I'm going to bring people that are active in this real estate field, local experts, experts from around the world, different investors that are doing their thing and that are making it happen right now in their local communities. Up on our next episode, we have the Wholesale Diva coming on. She's doing big things out here. You know what I'm saying? Out in Scottsdale, Arizona, Phoenix, Arizona area. On our next episode, soon to come, gonna have my man Reginald Davison from Flint that's out there, man. He's getting those people that's been suffering from that uh, lead-based paint. I mean, not lead-based paint. I'm sorry. I'm so real estate right now. But that lead in the water, he's been one helping people getting grants and helping uh, getting people to uh, clean water and setting up distribution centers and doing it big, man, helping people get ready to uh, get their claims because Flint, you know, the uh, residents of Flint just uh, won, you know, a, a tremendous uh, size lawsuit. So he's helping position them for that. And we have other great community leaders soon to have celebrity guests, everything. This is how to buy the hood. I'm going to teach you what you need to know. Stay tuned. And hey, I'll talk to you soon. Till next time. I'm Anthony Leggins. Peace. There's a YouTube channel you will want to subscribe to, Real Estate Heat TV. Real Estate Heat TV is destined to be the hottest new real estate channel around. They provide original content and shows in an innovative, creative, entertaining, and educating way. The concept is to provide a supreme platform for other real estate-related channels and businesses to promote their respective businesses while providing the heat by sharing their knowledge, wisdom, and their expertise. Coaches Armand and Anthony bring the latest heat from the streets in the real estate industry covering a broad and diverse range of topics, all geared towards helping you gain entry and have sustainable success in real estate. Real Estate Heat TV, the hottest new real estate channel. Check it out online at realestateheat.tv or on YouTube at Real Estate Heat TV. Share the channel on all of your social media so your friends can subscribe too. What are you waiting for? Realestateheat.tv and Real Estate Heat TV on YouTube. Subscribe now. There's a YouTube channel you will want to subscribe to, Real Estate Heat TV. Real Estate Heat TV is destined to be the hottest new real estate channel around. They provide original content and shows in an innovative, creative, entertaining, and educating way. The concept is to provide a supreme platform for other real estate-related channels and businesses to promote their respective businesses while providing the heat by sharing their knowledge, wisdom, and their expertise. Coaches Armand and Anthony bring the latest heat from the streets in the real estate industry. 
covering a broad and diverse range of topics, all geared towards helping you gain entry and have sustainable success in real estate. Real Estate Heat TV, the hottest new real estate channel. Check it out online at realestateheat.tv or on YouTube at Real Estate Heat TV. Share the channel on all of your social media so your friends can subscribe too. What are you waiting for? Real Estate Heat TV and Real Estate Heat TV on YouTube. Subscribe now.